Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this thrift store as well as the yard sale that happens a little bit Thank later you. on in the video. Yay! <laughs> Chris had a couple of bags of clothes that he was looking to donate. And since we're at this Goodwill anyway, why not check it out and see what we could find? Yeah, it's interesting. Now, one word of advice. It's always better to get to thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales when they open or very close to open because they have new, fresh stuff that they've put out. Now, granted, we hit this thrift store at midday, so let's see what we can find. Now, one of my favorite categories to pick up, DVDs and Blu-rays. A lot of people don't understand why people would want to buy them and they don't think there's a value there, when in reality, there is. Sometimes there's a limited print, they're not on streaming services, or they're stuck on an old platform that you can only find in physical media. And some people like the physical media to collect it. Do you think they have enough copies of Disney's Frozen on Blu-ray? No? Well, you might as well just let it go. It really shouldn't bother you anyway. Now whenever I look at electronics, at thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, and flea markets, my primary focus is on VHS DVD combos. And what I mean is that they play both forms of the media. Two brands I like in particular are Sony and Panasonic. Other brands don't do as well, but if you have the remote, there's good money in it. Even though it's heavy, it'll still ship and people will pay for it. Chris went into this Goodwill with excellent karma. He made a donation and found these amazing, ha, see what I did there, Spider-Man and Black Panther comic prints on glass over a frame. Goodwill wanted $12.99 and this is something that Chris personally collects because he loves the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so it was an easy personal pickup for him. An excellent find if I do say so. So after we left the Goodwill, I had the reselling itch to keep going. And since there were no thrift stores nearby, I searched for the closest yard sale, and I found this one. I thought the front yard was really cool, and I liked the layout of their sale. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Now one thing I started to learn a lot more about was crafting when I first started selling cross stitch patterns. I didn't realize that there was money in this, but there's a lot to be had. You just have to understand what to look for. The one thing that I did notice in this basket were these heavy duty crafting scissors. So I looked up the name and the model of the scissors themselves because a lot of the vintage ones can actually bring in decent value. Just know that they're quite heavy. These were going for about $15 free shipping. And based on the weight, I really wouldn't have much profit here, so I did pass. But it's just something to look for when you're out and about. Don't pass on crafts. I think my favorite part about this yard sale was this caution tree. 
this homeowner knew exactly what they were doing hey, doing? when they put that caution tape up. They've probably had a yard sale in the past that somebody walked straight into that tree. Let's talk about decorative plates. A lot of people bought them as souvenirs. They would go home and put them in their china cabinets, which existed. Now so much china cabinets aren't a thing and they're harder to display. So a lot of the market on them has fallen through. Some of them do hold a value, but not a lot of them, especially the ones that are for the holidays that are yearly marked. Those you'll get a little bit of money unless you have the whole collection. Thank you, have a great day. Day. I'm gonna have another sale, that's why I didn't mark everything down. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have another one. Sweet. Gotcha. I've Sounds got a lot good. Of stuff inside yet. Okay. Weird question. Do you have any like old movies or DVDs? Uh, no. You know, let's see, old movies. No, I think I uh, I got rid of every all of that stuff. Okay. No worries. Because I, I couldn't use my uh, you know players anymore and stuff. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I sold a movie projector, so. No worries. No. Thank I, I, you. Well, the one thing I do have are CDs, but okay. I haven't gone through those yet. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Right. CDs and some tapes and things like that, but that, that I haven't even looked at. Don't worry. Thank you, though. I appreciate <laughs> it. All right. Thank you for have coming. Have a great one. Bye. It never hurts to ask the person running the yard sale what you're looking for if you don't see it. Because that oh, person might have forgotten to put it out at the sale, and they're willing to sell it to you. And you could potentially get it for a good deal. So always ask. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click that like button. And if you have some spare time, check out some of these other videos. Thanks!